There's a saying that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. I think the goal of the church is not to meet our needs, but the church has to meet the needs of the world. I'm here with the kids and we're going to do some scavenging this morning with my brother. Hello, welcome to Scavengers Ministry. One kilo of this plastic is 30 cents. Hello, my name is JJ Lizarondo and I'm the CEO of hop-a.org help overcome poverty through education. I remember the time when my brother invited me to the dump site uh, in, in Taytay Rizal. Uh, I saw Mary Rose for the first time picking up plastic garbage. And for eight hours, she was doing it just to get by, just to be able to eat at least once a day. Gusto ko po makatapos ng pag-aaral. Pero hindi ko ba nahihirapan magbasura? Hindi naman po. Mas masarap pa nga po dahil nakakapilig ko mga itong magulang ko. Araw-araw? Opo. Ayoko po kasi mahihibalay sa kanila eh. Pero gusto mo po basura lang yung ginagawa ng lagi? Hindi po. Hindi masakit? Masakit po po eh. Masakit? Kaya nang ang harap ka rin makapag-aral para matulungan mo sila. Nga po. Gusto ko po lahat kami dito matulungan naman po. Hiling na hiling po namin dahil kami nahihirapan kami dito. Nahirap ba talaga? Nga po. Misa po pag mag-alokay kami, wala kami makuha. Wala rin kami magagawa. Ano pinakain niyo? Pag wala po kami makain, siyempre matutulog lang po. Mary Rose was indeed a great blessing to me. We were able to provide lifetime scholarship for her and the siblings, business for the family, and the best of it all, for the first time, they have a new concrete house. With a thankful heart and a song of praise, we've come to you. After Mary Rose, the Lord burdened my heart to go to the mountain of San Mateo, Pintong Bukawe. As I saw the community there, I was moved with compassion and spread the love of Jesus to the people who are living there. Naalala ko yun ang unang punta ko doon sa lugar na yon at nas nagsimula kami ng aming unang servisyo sa ilalim lang ng bamboo tree. At doon nakita ko walang kuryente, walang tubig at ang mga tahanan ng mga tao doon ay gawa lamang sa isa isang kahoy. Walang hanap buhay ang isa sa kanila doon. Nakadepende lang sila kung ano yung kanilang mga naitanim sa lupa. Pero during our service, all of us prayed that God will bless us one day. This really inspired me to put up Hop E and partner with my brother in helping the community, in helping the kids go to school for free, and in also helping the parents put up livelihood to have, for them to have a better life. Let the weak say I am strong let the poor say, I am rich. Let the blind say, I 
can see it's what the Lord has done in me. After six months in partnership with Hop E, the Lord bless us with a new building, a new school called Icon Learning Center. And we have now 65 students. They have their own uniforms, bags, and this is all for free. And because we believe that the children could have a brighter future if they have a quality education. And because of much prayer and declaration, the Lord heard our prayers and praise God, the Lord bless us now in these things. Yes. <laughs> nakatulong sa akin dahil anim yung anak ko, dalawang graduating ko, isang high school, isang elementary. So, ang expenses pa sa preschool, so, pa nung dumating ang ICANN, malaking tulong dahil nakagaan sa gastusin sa akin, malaking tulong sa akin ng ICANN. Sana po, next year, magkaroon na po ng ICANN. Kasi sobra po talagang, ano, nakikita na po namin kasi yung, ano, yung uh, improvement po ng bawat bata na nag-aaral po sa ICANN. Sana po, magkaroon sila ng eskwilahan na hanggang secondary mayroon sila kasi mas ano sa amin na malapit ang pag-aaral kasi dito kung sa public kami ano doon diyan sa ano public school pagkahirap naglalakad ng na mga bata kahit yung aking elementary ah, sana lumago at saka hanggang next year meron pa marami pong dumating sa aming pagpapala talaga po ngayon po na nakakilata kami sa Panginoon sa tuloy na rin po ni Pastor RJ na ipinakilala po niya sa amin na talaga po may Diyos nga po na talagang tumutugod sa lahat ng tao at yun po ay sa sarili na rin po namin sa pananampalataya at sa Panginoon. Si Pastor RJ naman ang dyan hanggang, tum hanggang tumulong sa amin. Kung baga yung anarili si Pastor RJ na mga tulong siya kanya ng mga bali sa ibang bansa mga sponsor, mas mga darating mga sponsor, ipinabahagi naman ng, naman niya po ng buong-buong puso sa amin. Kaya para po sa amin, mga mga tulong niya, Pastor Arty, para sa amin. Let me share to you a verse in the Bible that says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And I love this one. And all these things shall be added unto you. You know, if we really want to follow the footsteps of the Lord, you know, we have to follow what he said about loving God with all your heart and with all your mind. You know what? The second is to love your neighbor as yourself. How are we going to share the love to our community? It's not just about preaching the gospel, but being able to show the gospel through our good works that will bridge the good news. And remember, if love is felt, the message is heard. So we thank you. I hope you partner with us and help us expand the kingdom of God to the community. I pray that you will be our partner. I pray for your support and for your prayers. And I also pray that you would visit us in San Mateo and Pintong Buka with our pastor here, Pastor, pastor RJ. RJ Lizarondo, Lugar ng Pag-asa. And I'm Brother JJ. Thank you and welcome to the Place of Hope. Bye-bye.